Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. As you guys may know, I am in my pediatric rotation in nursing school right now. And the pediatric population has a lot of things to memorize, including fine motor, gross motor skills, nutrition, immunizations, all of that stuff. One of the things that I had quite a bit of difficulty with was learning the immunizations. And for whatever reason, I just couldn't get them to stick. So I actually came across this one YouTube video and this lady's method of memorizing immunizations was just incredible. I will link the video down below, but I wanted to just simplify it and make it into a short, concise video. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing that I think will help you in memorizing all of the immunizations is writing down everything from the different age categories to the immunizations that are needed in each age category. So I did just that for you guys, and what I'll do is just show you guys the chart and talk you through it. Because I think if I hold it up like this, it's gonna be flipped, so I will go ahead and just move my camera so you guys can see. Okay, so here is the immunization chart for all the immunizations that are due at different age ranges. So N is for newborn, and then I broke it up two months, four months, six months, 12 to 18 months, and four to six years. What was really helpful was using acronyms or just breaking it down into words. So then it's a better memory aid. So for newborn, that's kind of easy. I just think newborn birth. So what's due at birth is hepatitis B. It's only one vaccine. And then at two months, I use this mnemonic, B Dr. Hip. So B stands for the hepatitis B, the D stands for DTAP, R is for rotavirus, H is for hemophilia influenza, or HIB, I is for inactivated poliovirus, and P is for the pneumococcal vaccine. And then when we move on to four months, it's the exact same as two months, except you drop the hepatitis B. Then you go back to six months and it's the exact same as two months plus the flu vaccine. So after the six months, you'll start getting the flu vaccine annually. So it's kind of easy to think of. So at 12 to 18 months, you're gonna have a couple of new vaccines. First, it's going to be MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella. Then you're gonna have hepatitis A. Then you're gonna have DTaP. You're gonna have your Hib or hemophilia influenza your P, your pneumococcal vaccine, and V for varicella. So those are all of the vaccines and you can use the mnemonic MAD HPV for 12 to 18 months. Then you move on to four to six years and the mnemonic that you use is very dim. So V is gonna be for varicella, the D is gonna be for DTaP, I is for the inactivated poliovirus, and M is gonna be for the MMR. So these are the mnemonics. B, B Dr. Hip, Dr. Hip, B Dr. Hip plus flu, mad HPV, and very dim. Now there's not too many vaccines as you get older. A lot of them are booster shots and things like that. Like. If you're in nursing school, you know we had to get hepatitis B and a booster of MMR and all of that kind of stuff. So then it kind of slows down, but you do have a couple of vaccines at 11 to 12 years and at 16 to 18 years. So at 11 to 12 years, you have Tdap. And keep in mind, this is different than Dtap. This is Tdap. And the reasoning being that the Letters that are in uppercase is going to be what the vaccine mainly has. So for this one, it's going to be tetanus and pertussis. So versus for DTAP, it was diphtheria. Human is going to stand for HPV and men is meningococcal vaccine. So the mnemonic is TADA human men. I don't know, it's kind of a weird mnemonic, but it works. And then at 16 to 18 years, you only have one vaccine, which is the meningococcal vaccine, and it's a booster shot. And the way to think about this one is you're going off to college. If you're a girl, you may be interested in men, I don't know. 
and so you're gonna need to get your meningococcal vaccine. And so that is it for 11 to 12 years and 16 to 18 years. So if you look at it like this, it kind of doesn't look so crazy as if you were to write down all of the vaccines. And this kind of breaks it into mnemonics. So as long as you can memorize these mnemonics, then you will know all of your vaccines from birth all the way up until 18 years. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in the next video.